In this video, we will see what happens if you fire a gun upward, what happens with the bullet. But before we proceed, we will only do this from a theoretical viewpoint. Do not try this at home. Well, in absence of friction, the result is clear. We have conservation of energy, so when the bullet returns, its speed will equal the firing speed, so the bullet will kill you. But what happens if we include friction? Will friction slow the bullet enough to save you? Well, let us try to model this problem. So first the bullet will go up. So if the bullet goes up, uh, we will start with some vehicles V0. There are two forces working. They are both working downward. The gravity, force of gravity is always working downward. And now the friction force is also working downward because you are moving up. The friction is always counteracting the movement. We'll start at x equals zero, and go to a height h0. We don't know what h0 is yet, so x will be positive between zero and h0. And then we are, when we are at h0, on the top, our speed v will be zero, and then we'll start moving downward. Uh, gravity is still working in the negative direction, of course, but now the uh, frictional force is working in the upward direction because we're working downward. So gravity is always f uh, z equals always minus m times g and the frictional force is either plus one half rho times c times a times v squared or minus. So it works in the minus uh, direction if we're going downward and the plus direction if we are going upward. So we'll have to split this problem in two parts. Go up first, and then we go down. Uh, so, a problem. Uh, we have total force minus mg, of course, and minus frictional force. Uh, so we get uh, f total equals m times a equals m times v prime equals uh, minus mg minus one half rho c a times v squared with some initial velocity v zero. And furthermore, we know, of course, x prime equals v, and we start at the ground at height zero. Now, if we go down, we have the same differential equation, but now with a plus sign over here. Going down, frictional force works in the plus direction. We start with v zero equals zero. We'll just uh, reset our time. If we are up, we start again at t equals zero. So we take v zero to be zero. x prime equals uh, v but now at height h0. Now, uh, let us discuss uh, the values of all those constants. We have lots of constants floating around. Let us discuss the parameters. Well, rho is the density of air. You can just look it up in kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, C is the drag coefficient of the bullet. Well, it can be 0.4 or 0.5 or 0.3, something like that. Uh, pick 0.5. A is the frontal area uh, of the bullet. Well, let us approximate it by just a, a sphere. That's the easiest, so 2 pi r squared. And the radius of a typical bullet, you can also uh, look it up easily, uh, is uh, 5 millimeters, so that gives you the A. And the mass of a typical bullet is uh, a few grams. So those are typical parameters uh, for a bullet. So you see. There is already some uh, imprecision in the sense that, well, those parameters can be slightly di different, of course, giving you slightly different results, but the orders of magnitude are definitely like this. Uh, now, let me continue. What's the initial velocity of a bullet? You can also look it up. It's about 400 meters per second. And gravitational constant, that's of course a constant. So. Uh, let's estimate first what the frictional force is and what the forces do, do due to gravity. So can you neglect the frictional force, for example? Well, no, because if you just estimate what's approximately, then you get 0 0.04 Newton for uh, gravitational force, and initially a much larger fr frictional force of 5 Newton. That's due to your big velocity, and the uh, velocity is in the friction like uh, v squared. So initially, big velocity, big friction, and eventually, of course, gravity will overcome that. 
But initially, your functional function is much more important, so you certainly cannot neglect that. So now uh, we have a differential equation. We have uh, two differential equations, in fact. Uh, we have all parameters, so we have all the numbers. So we are uh, ready uh, to solve it. We will solve in the uh, following videos first the upward motion, then we will solve the downward motion, and then we'll make a next video to wrap everything up and to summarize everything. So let us do the upward motion in the next video.